smartphones are considered the pinnacle of the future. You can almost do anything with your smartphone, from texting and calling to playing video games that decades ago require bulky consoles. Even cameras are slowly becoming obsolete, like the iPhone, are getting better and better with its photography capability. But some experts are claiming that the iPhone and even your smartphones are emitting dangerous radiation. And is this true? Today at Finance Per, we'll find out about the radiation in your phones, friends banning the iPhone 12, and could this hurt you? But for more videos about finance, technology, and business, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. France's decision to remove the iPhone 12 from sale due to elevated radiation levels has sparked concerns about the safety of smartphones and the need for rigorous checks before they reach the market. This raises the question of whether your smartphone could be harming your health. After all, smartphones emit radiation. And isn't radiation known to cause cancer? These concerns come from a common misunderstanding of the different types of radiation and their effects on the human body. So, what is radiation in the first place? Radiation is a form of energy that can travel as waves or particles. Interestingly, everyday items like bananas, air, and even the human body emit radiation, just in small amounts. But the type of radiation we're discussing in this video is electromagnetic radiation, which is also emitted by the sun, smartphones, and even Wi-Fi. Now, how much radiation does your phone emit, and is it dangerous? Radiation exposure can be measured in watts per kilogram, which quantifies how much energy is absorbed by the body tissue when exposed to low levels of radiation. The internationally recognized safe limit for mobile phones is 4 watts per kilogram. But what does this value mean? And is it inherently dangerous? To answer these questions, we need to dive into the nature of the radiation emitted by phones. Smartphones emit radiation in the radio frequency range of the electromagnetic spectrum which includes radio waves with frequencies between 1 to 3 GHz. Other devices like radios, televisions, radar, satellites, microwave ovens, computers, and wireless networks also use frequencies in this range. These radio waves have less energy than visible light, and are categorized as non-ionizing radiation. This means they lack the energy to strip electrons from atoms and damage DNA, a process that can lead to cancer. The danger begins when radiation frequencies move into the ionizing radiation range, with energies exceeding those of visible light. X-rays, cosmic rays, and gamma rays produced by radioactive materials fall into this category. These types of radiation can damage DNA alter genes, and increase the risk of cancer. So, what's the problem? Despite sharing similar wavelengths with microwave ovens, our brains aren't getting cooked by smartphones. The main reason is the power level. Microwaves emit electromagnetic waves with a force of about 1,200 watts, while a phone operates in the milliwatt range. Given that most people use mobile phones, it's important to investigate whether there are any health risks associated with this exposure. Could there be a mysterious radiation phenomenon that affects humans under the specific conditions of mobile phone usage? The answer is not definitely no. Some studies have suggested a statistical correlation between cell phone use and brain tumors, especially among individuals who started using mobile phones before the age of 20. However, most studies contradict this claim, claiming that there is no connection between mobile phone usage and cancer rates. In particular, a comprehensive international study failed to demonstrate a consistent link between mobile phone use and brain or other central nervous system cancers. The inconsistency in findings is due to several factors, 
including the difficulty of accurately collecting data from participants, the bias introduced when individuals with brain tumors are more likely to enroll in research studies, and other factors. But despite these challenges, the overall conclusion is that there are minimal to no adverse health effects associated with mobile phone use. And even health organizations like the FDA, CDC, and FCC claim that there is no scientific evidence to support the claim that phones cause cancer, and current regulations ensure public safety. So, why did France ban the iPhone 12 for emitting excessive radiation? The issue involving the iPhone 12, which surpassed the safe radiation limit of 4 watts per kilogram, is indeed an interesting case that sheds light on the complications of radiation exposure and safety. While the iPhone 12's radiation measurement registered at 5.74 watts per kilogram, it's important to note that this level of radiation remains significantly below the threshold necessary to pose any harm to human health. To better understand the magnitude of this radiation exposure, we can consider this analogy. If you were to expose an area of your body to this level of radiation for an extended period, it would increase the temperature to less than 1 degree Celsius. This temperature rise is similar to a gradual change that occurs naturally within your body throughout the day. The important factor to remember is that this small temperature change would only become noticeable with prolonged and direct exposure, which is far from typical smartphone usage. Hence, the ban imposed on the iPhone 12 by the French authorities was largely based on precautionary rather than direct evidence of health risks. In response to this situation, Apple has taken the initiative to address the issue with a software update. While concerns about smartphone radiation are valid, the scientific consensus suggests that mobile phone use is not associated with significant health risks. The continuing research in this area seeks to provide more definitive answers. But for now, your smartphone is generally safe to use. Now, we didn't create this video to scare you. But always remember that too much of something may lead to bad things. If you are curious about how the iPhone started or about Apple's newest products, check out our channel and comment down what you think about this video. But for more amazing videos about finance, technology, and business, don't forget to check out our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that notify bell for upcoming videos. For now, this is Finance Spur. Have a great day.